Use the product rule to simplify the radical. Square root of 150. Now, we read this the way we probably have for many uh, years of schooling, the square root of 150, but the instruction tells us about radical, the, the radical. Square roots fall under uh, a category of algebraic expressions, arithmetic, uh, are called radical expressions. The square root is a radical expression, and in this check mark area of the radical, we actually find what's known as the index. The index. The index of a radical expression asks us to find that number of identical factors uh, that is 2 for square root. Square, squares are usually uh, involved in 2's. So when we read square root, the index is a 2. We're looking for two, we're looking for pairs of factors inside of 150. That's what this index of 2 is asking, is asking us for. If we find pairs of identical factors, we're going to evaluate them and pull one of those, uh, for each pair, we're going to pull one of each pair out to the left of the radical symbol, the square root symbol. So we, we begin looking for these factors by, of course, the word factor means to factor. Uh, and we start with a factor tree. Uh, I'm going to start breaking this up into factors that I can find that make up 150. When a number ends in a 0, I'm thinking there's a times 10 in it. And of course, you know, this is just my way of doing a factor tree. Uh, everyone has their own trick. When I find a number that ends in a, ten, a, a 0, I, I know there's a times 10 in it. So every time I'm doing this factor tree, these factors are actually underneath the radical symbol, the square root symbol. So we continue factoring down to the numbers that we know make up these individual factors. 15 is product of 3 and 5. 10 is the product of 2 and 5. These are all multiplied, you know, linked together. And, you know, we look at these that are under this radical symbol and we say, do, are we able to find a pair? Remember the index is asking us, we can find two of a kind, the same kind of factor. And I'm seeing that we found a pair of fives. I'm going to rewrite this radical and I'm going to I'm going to also rewrite this radical in exponential notation 5 to the second power isn't that 5 times 5 just shrunken down to a smaller footprint of 5 to the second power then I'm going to write anything else that I found that is only I, I they don't form a pair of factors the same factor they, they don't form a pair of the same factor these are two individual factors I find a 2 to the first power. There's only one of them in this factor tree, the factor tree that we found down to prime numbers. And I find a 3 to the first power. So this is the situation that we have at, the, at this time. We have one factor that's raised to the second power. Something to the second power represents a pair of identical factors. The trick that we can use is and the trick that we're using is the product rule. The product rule says that when I find, here's the product rule, when I find a factored radicand, you know, the number that we're taking the square root of, I'm allowed to break it up into separate factors of the factored radicand. I can break them up. And what we find is these are the ones that have exponents of 2. When we find any uh, factors that are have an exponent of 2 we can are allowed to break them out and we leave any exponents of 1 factors with exponents of 1 they're not going to be able to come out because they don't match this index of 2 idea but look when I am able to find a match of the index with an exponent this guy we're gonna break it out and give it its own uh, radical expression, radical symbol. These other two guys, because their exponents are less than the index of 2, they have to stay under the radical symbol. They're not going to be able to come out. Anything with an exponent of 1. See how we broke this out using the product rule? Let me just label this for you. This is what the instruction is referring to as the product rule, formally the product rule for exponents. So here's the issue. Whenever the index matches a f uh, exponent on an internal factor, we're allowed to just pull this guy right out. One of the pair of identical factors. 
comes out from under the radical symbol. Anything, any factors under the radical symbol that have exponents of 1, they're not going to be able to come out because there's no match with the index. We just multiply them back together. 2 times 3 makes 6. This is what we call a radical expression, or a square root in this case, that's been simplified because we evaluated we evaluated perfect squares and brought them outside the radical and we only left factors that were to an exponent of 1 under the radical. So we come up to our answer choices and we make the proper selection of the correct response.